Hello, ladies and gentlemen, wrestling fans out there. This is the voice, Timothy E. Minor, along with Rusty the Ref. And tonight, we are coming to you from Gladeville Community Center here. And our opening match here tonight, we're going to live stream with the Tim and Rusty show once again. The live stream tonight. And we are going to have a few matches on tonight. We'll stop in between them. So make sure to come back and watch uh, once uh, uh, you don't have the bell tonight. We open up here tonight, DJ Fury. He is the current... What, what championship did he have? U.S. championship. U U.S. champion in PWA. He's taking on LBK. Yeah. Uh, we've seen LBK in action years ago in Millersville. And, uh, oh, yeah. Connor Devil tie-up. Yes, and, he's related to uh, the famous TJ. TJ Weatherby. Weatherby and Ke Ke uh, Kevin Weatherby. He backs Cody. in DJ Fury in that corner. Yeah. Referee is Brandon Everett. Well, to minor it. This could be a high-flying match here. Would Both like guys can come with some high flying action. Would like to thank PWA and uh, Matt and Nathan Starr for inviting us to be here. Oh yeah, here good night to good be old here friends. Friday, on a Friday night here in Gladeville, just on the other side of Lebanon, Tennessee, at the Gladeville Community Center. Oh, go behind Jack. Side headlock here by LBK. Ring yeah. up that side headlock. Now, You're going to reverse it there, a little this, chain wrestling going on. Fury is small in stature, but from what I understand, he's uh, he's a good worker here. Well, LBK can he's hold the title, too. so he's got to be. This is one of those odd guy. moments for LBK when he is. He's bigger than the bigger other than guy. the other guy. We've got a great card on action uh, on 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 here uh, for here tonight. Uh, here in a couple moments, Austin Cruz is going to take on the Boogie Woogie Boy Gary Valiant. Uh, main event, Greg McDaniel and Ethan Bolden with Johnny Showtime in their corner as a manager oh, going to take on Honcho Henson and Shannon Hayes. Justin Savage in the house to take on Luke Cage and much, much more. Here we go. As a head scissor or a headlock. And coming out of that is Boy, LBK that's... and a little springboard coming Yeah. Out. We don't really and have a heel theory. in this match. Yet, I'm sure uh, well, LBK could go. LBK. He, LBK could go there. No. <laughs> it won't be his first time. Well, when you're in the dojos of T.J. Weatherby and Tony Falk, you go there every now and then. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go. An arm bar. A little, little stank on it. On that arm. Oh. Nice reversal. Into so back into the side headlock. 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 Irish whip off the ropes. Boom! Shoulder black there by LBK. Ooh! Ooh, that was, that was quite a move and quite pops a flip back. back up with ease. Do you know the wrestling term when they flip up like that? I'm supposed to know that. Oh, I'll ask you one of those questions I wasn't supposed to ask you. Yeah, during a match, too. Let Wait me go ask. in between matches. match. Let's not ask questions during the match. I'm going to go ask DJ what Side that's headlock. called. There we go, Fury toss off. Oh, there's a big shot by Fury. Yeah! And LBK. Oh, yeah. Springboards up. Like, I'm, um, I'm going to give those a 10. Springboards, okay. Both of those shoulder blocks and springboards. Referee has not got a lot to do so far. <coughs> Stay out of the way. Kick there's to the stomach. Midsection. Now we're going to see some That's a forearm. <laughs> now he's done everything legal. You can kick, you can use a forearm. Oh, uh oh. Missed him. Lightning struck there. Another arm drag takedown. And he holds on this time. Working over that arm of LBK. The crowd wow. is kind of the crowd is they, kind of iffy. They don't see who to cheer for. They booed him when he came out here. There's an arm drag takedown by LBK. That's a good one. And a, another one. Now, LBK going to work on the arm of DJ Fury. Yeah. Hey, to compare. Once again, we're going to be bringing you a couple of matches tonight, probably three, three matches tonight on live stream. So uh, we will be going off the air on the live stream in between the matches. So look forward to, uh, to Boogie Woogie Man. You're going to see Boogie Woogie Boy, Boy Austin Cruz. And then we're one. going to bring the main event to you, Greg McDaniel and Ethan Bolden. With Johnny Showtime in the corner. There's the first football there. And there's a two count by referee Brandon Everett. 
LBK decided to take his shirt off. Uh-oh. Is that sort of like Lawler? Incoming! Up, up, and Whoa. over. Well, I'll give that a low Coming key. Coming to you live from Gladeville Community Center in Lebanon, right on the other side of Lebanon, Tennessee. Give that a low key, Tim. I guess it's its own community here, Gladeville is. Yes. They have their own but if you look on the map, center. in the map, it says it's Lebanon, so. Oh, uh, we're on the other side of Lebanon. Yeah. Oh, oh, nice DDT in between the ropes there. Wow, cracked his head right on Pitfall that. one, two. I want to remind you folks, we will be in Salina, Tennessee next Saturday night. We will? Yeah, okay. the 14th, that's next oh, Saturday Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks, I'm out of it. Are you going? Yeah, yes. Big knee across the chest area there. There's a pinfall, one, two. And then two weeks from tomorrow night, we will be in Gallatin, Tennessee at RWF Wrestling for a great time in Gallatin. So make sure to, if you're in those areas, get out to the live shows. We will be bringing a couple of, uh, of uh, live stream matches during both of those shows. I had to check my scenality. I am going to be there. And I want you fans to put asking me. I said I was going to retire. You know, you, you probably marked it off your calendar. I want you, want you fans to quit asking me how old I am. Oh. Too. None of your business how old I am. He, he's older than dirt. Boom. Oh. LBK misses that drop kick and hit his head on the back of that, uh, on the canvas. I'm younger than Terry England. How's that? Well, Terry England's older than a dinosaur. <laughs> He had his own pet dinosaur. Uh oh, here, incoming. There's a, oh, nice back elbow there by DJ Fury. And that is legal, except he's in the corner. Gonna snap Merrim out of there. Oh, snaps that neck on over. That hurt my neck. One, two, and a two count there by Fury. Another near pinfall as LBK gonna roll out to the ringside here. That's a veteran a, move. He's trying to get a breather here. Oh, that is a 10! LBJ, I love it. Or LBK. Ah. <laughs> LBK. LBJ was the president. <laughs> Catches him with that foot. This could be a new, with, I'm not sure if the belt was on the line, but this could be a, now he's going to a defeat right here. Suplexes. Three amigos. Two. That's two of them. Yep, we're going to get going three. for the third one. No, we didn't get a th third amigo, we, but we got the I'm sorry, folks, if face we, plant. If we lost connection there for a moment. There's a two oh, count to kick it up for he, the count of three. How did he kick out of that, Tim Miner? He's going to go up to the top. He's going to fly. We're going to get a 360, I think, here. He used to do a 360. It might just be a 180 now. He's got a year or two on him. He better hurry up. He's not going to get off of there. Like I said, uh -oh. <laughs> you better hurry up there or you're you not going to get the chance. And, well, uh, DJ, DJ Terry is, up to his feet and over there with the quickness. Just like bring him off with a suplex. He tries, but That's a LBK suplex. locking right, it. Here we go. Him on down. LBK, LBK got LBK it. going to come off with a, oh, he misses. And he rolled on out of it. Big flying fly burrito. Yeah. Big back elbow. Remember Ricky Steamboat used to do that flying burrito? Yeah. Oh! That don't even need burritos in a wide. Big foot to the face. There's a pinfall. One, two, two we count. We got out. And How in the Furry world? Almost gets a, another pinfall win there. He's had three near near wins there here tonight. Some of the crowd training LBK. What are we going to do now? Going to help him up? Going to suplex? Which way? No. Blocks the suplex. Like how he grabbed the tights there to block him, but uh, referee didn't stop him. Irish whip. Oh, kicks his knee out from underneath him. Oh, here oh, we go. We're going to see this a 6 be five. It. Oh. <laughs> yes. He hits that middle rope. He's so short, he hits that middle rope when he goes in there. Uh oh. Catches him with that 6 1 5. So LBK that needs to do Flying something. Across, with, uh, across the axe and cross elbow. One, two. And a two count once again. LBK kicking out before the count of three. Tim Miner, will either one of these guys be able to be, be pinned? You may need to go to a submission. 
Let me see. That. Have I got my chain with me? I'll throw well, it into one of them. They start a little bit slow, but uh, it's uh, it's sped up. Oh yeah. They're spilling each other out early in the match. Oh. Nice move by LBK. There's a pinfall. One, two, and another a two count there for LBK. Well, we know oh. the referee Brendan Everett's getting a lesson on how to count to two tonight. Well, probably needs it. He is a referee. <laughs> I'm blind, I'm deaf, I want to be a ref. LBK sets up. DJ sends him into the turnbuckle. Here comes LB, misses. Kabonked his head on that turnbuckle. There's nice a kick. Little kick. By DJ Fury. Oh. Goes into a pitfall too. He got it. Pitfall oh. there, the win for DJ Fury. Not getting this, but they're getting it on DVD. They added extra, added, added extra. As LBK lays that strap across. I think LBK won that, Jim Oh, no. Uh -oh. Here comes the kingdom. Johnny Showtime. And it looks as if Greg the kingdom. And, and Ethan Bolden. The kingdom is has added LBK to their to their group. And LBK, wow, to the kingdom. And we will see them later on in the main event. He's been to Hawaii. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up one more time for your U.S. wrestling champion, DJ Fury. Get Once again, your winner here. is DJ Fury. All right, folks, welcome back here to the Tim and Rusty Show uh, for the live stream. But we are at the PWA Wrestling Show, Pro Wrestling Alliance, here in Gladeville and uh, at the Gladeville Community Center. And this next matchup, we have Austin Cruz with his manager, Stephen Mann, and he is taking on the Boogie Woogie Boy, Gary Valiant, right here. And your referee in the ring is Brian O'Dell. I think this referee is a little uh, biased toward Boogie Woogie Boy. He's danced with him. He's laughed with well, him. Wouldn't you dance with Boogie if he come by here? Well, I did. Oh. But I'm not the referee. <laughs> did he kiss you too? He didn't kiss me. No. He kissed that woman's kissed camera. Kissed camera. That's better than kissing the woman behind the camera. <laughs> I'm <laughs> telling you, this here. Austin Cruz, he's just a, a phenomenal specimen. He's just a, a chunk, like like a man mountain link, or or a, I'm trying to think of some of those those old guys from the old days, just like Yukon Eric, just a big burly guy. By the way, if any of you fans hear me say anything ugly about you, I'm in it. <laughs> no, anyway. I don't mean it. It's just a show. So here we go. <laughs> well, yeah, you. Anyway, he's been he's been watching wrestling since he knew how to grasshopper. Austin Cruz. <clears throat> hey, hey, hey! See now, look what they're doing. He's undressing the referee. That's not. <laughs> he's danced with him. Hey, he's laughed with him, and now he's undressing him. We are on a thirty-second delay, so yeah. I, I need to cut it off before it gets there. This is boogie woogie, <laughs> boy. Actually, I think he's he doesn't like it when I say it, but the boogie woogie man, he's earned that title. Had him a new coat on tonight, didn't he? Oh yeah. Thought he was gonna catch on fire with all the lights flashing on it. Tucks with tails. Big old Austin Cruz and big old Gary Valiant. By, by Gary Valiant. Cranking on those cauliflowers. Toss off Austin. Big! Whoa! Whoa. Austin almost went rumbling, bumbling, stumbling out of the ring well, there. Gary felt that one now. Even, even though he may have got the 
It looked like he busted his mouth. I hope he didn't hurt his beard. He's got such a nice red beard. I think I'm more worried about his dental problem than his beard. Uh, you might ought to be wor more worried about Gary Valiant. <laughs> the big forearm shivers by the crews. Austin, very new to the business over the last couple of years. Oh, and there's a nice drop kick by the veteran. That's what I was bringing up, getting ready to bring up. Uh, Gary Vatt, a ring veteran, been in this business for many, many years. I think it's 25, 30 years. Something like that. You know, we've been in this business from our different aspects for 30 years. I oh, mean, yeah. for 25 years. Oh, yeah. Well, if you count the years we were the audience, we were the, we oh, yeah. were the heel, heel, the heel corner, corner yeah. it's probably 30 years. Of course, that don't matter. And we've traveled across the world. Well, yeah. actually, from... Um, well, we've <laughs> we've traveled Middle from Tennessee, Middle Kentucky. Middle Tennessee, Kentucky. Well, to Arlington, Texas to do semi-pro football, but that yeah. was because of what we do with wrestling that got me that good. Collar and elbow tied. Big Austin got backs Gary. To Dallas Cowboy Stadium a few years ago. That was great. That's what I have on my phone. Oh, and there you see Stephen Mann. <clears throat> I'm impressed. Stephen Mann. The manager for Austin Cruz. Oh! Whoa! Austin Cruz firing up. Uh, boogie Boogie Boy, but uh, there's going to be repercussions for that. Woo! I know. It's going to be blood rising to the skin of Gary Valiant. Is that oh, what you I, mean? No, no, no. I mean, uh, once Gary Valiant gets back on the offense. Oh, big glancing blow there. Look at the size of Austin's calves. Whoa! Now he's standing on the throat. His calf is, it's as big as my thigh. And now manager Stephen Mann over there choking away at Boogie Woogie Man, Boogie well, Woogie Boy. Well, Boogie, Boogie Woogie Boy is the protege, the son of handsome Jimmy Valiant, the Boogie Woogie Man. And Austin, I can't reveal his wrestling heritage, but he is a he comes from a long line from a of wrestlers. Mean family. Oh yeah. <laughs> they like to hang people. <laughs> just better hope his daddy don't show up. Oh! Somebody nice. will get hurt. Sidewalk slam there by Austin Cruz. That is a ten. I just wanted to give him a yeah. ten. Part of his family tried to hang somebody in Gallatin at the last show there. <laughs> you yeah. can see that on video. We'll have videos of that next week or two weeks at the Gallatin show. Oh! Now he's trying to break that leg. A boogie woogie. <clears throat> Gary Valiant in some pain here. That's going to hurt a hamstring. You know, the service that you give to the wrestlers themselves, where you videotape it for them and you do it professionally, the professional, real professional announcers, the well, best in the business. Best I got of the business. you with me. <laughs> Devon Day says I'm the best in the business, along Actually, with you. Along and he, with but you. he hated my guts. That's yeah. what he told us. God rest I his soul. I realize I need you. Day. You just don't realize. You just don't realize you need me. I but miss anyway. him coming and attacking me, and, and yeah, and, uh, I do miss D Devon Day. God rest his soul. And uh, Big Daddy J. Yep. Some great guys that we got to work with in this wrestling business. Irish whip off the rope, boots in the midsection by Austin Cruz. Forearm shiver there. Boogie, he's Boogie's three. Back. He's staggering back. He's, I know, he's fixing to come back here. There, there he is! Boot to the side of the head. Oh, yeah! And a fly across oh. body block by the green veteran. There's a two count. Looked like uh, Stephen Mann was going to come over here and try to break that uh, pinfall up. Stephen the Mann man. needs to keep his hands off the boy. He better he's going to get hurt. Who says press? Is See if he'll do that. His size. Big right hand there by Boogie. Ryan. What's he going to do? He's always getting the feeling back in his leg. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh man! Oh, oh, oh! That was an ugly bump, Boogie. He hit that ring post. You could see it on the camera. I had full fledged in his shoulder. There was there was no give to that post, and then he fell splat on the concrete. Boogie that, might be done. That made me cringe. Rusty, you Boogie, are you all me. right? You can't run away from me. You can't, they can't hear you over here. Well, I gotta make sure he don't get oh, you. Now he might be dead. 
You mean kick, kick on the court? That made me cringe. I've got a torn rotator cuff. <laughs> when he hit that in the shoulder, I cringe. Oh, man. For all you naysayers out there, Boogie's probably hurt. <laughs> I, I got to be quiet, so. About, about to kayfabe alert here. Up to the count of five, Austin Cruz is taking a relaxing uh, break over in that far corner. I'm surprised this referee hadn't come out and given him a massage. He's done everything else for Boogie. I think he needs to come out here and rub that shoulder. Looks like Austin's gonna, nope. He got it back in there. Hey, we have a referee that can count to at least eight, so we're good. There's a kick to the knee. I think, oh. I think I would have worked on his shoulder, but I'm not. I think he's having a problem with that leg too. You know, he was trying to get that feeling back. Oh yeah, that's right. That's, where he so that Austin knew what he's doing. Now he's working on that knee. So once now he's got a knee and a shoulder. That's, once uh, again. Now he's, well, he's going to work on that knee. Ah. Would, was he counting for pulling the hair or was he counting for having in the corner? I was wondering the same thing. Make him quit pulling his hair, Rip. Gonna do it again. Austin's enjoying this. <laughs> Austin. One more time. I think you're enjoying this too much. Yeah. We dare you to do that again. Three, three, Boogie is going to kill me when he hears this. I'm a fan, Boogie. I'm a fan of both of you guys. I'm sorry I got I'm just that way. I've always been drawn to the heels. Oh, man. He went that big butt butt into the corner turnbuckle. Boogie got up just in time. It would have been concussion time for sure. It had would to, have been concussion time. Had to change out Rusty's battery. Now it's going to be Austin with a hip problem. Thank you, Tim Miner. About to have an electrical thing here. This is, this is. <laughs> Spilling water all over you the see staff. Sparks, uh, going everywhere. Oh! <laughs> I think he's grabbing something he shouldn't be grabbing on live stream TV. That's a two! He's Very valiant. Playing oh. doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Trip to the back cave. What oh, you doing? He find, there he is. Doing a little uh, dance. Doing a little turnaround. Doing a little dance. He did that little, little turnaround. Little oh, DJ. Yeah, he's got the manager. He's got Stephen Mann right there on the ring apron. You know, Austin's crew screamed like a girl. And there may be a reason for that he's now. He's trying to walk. Once again. And, uh, Boogie, you're a veteran. Gary you should Valiant know. was distracted. You should know not to do that. Austin Cruz makes his way behind him. What's going to happen now? I'm not. Oh! <laughs> Some little kid just ran up and checked, checked the man's oil. <laughs> we do not <laughs> represent <laughs> any oil checking. Uh... Oh, nice! Oh, he's well, stunned him. That's that a right stunner there. Win. Austin Cruz is down one, two, three. We got a and winner. Woogie Woogie. Gary Valiant gets the win. And folks, we'll be back with our main event on live stream in just a little bit. All right, folks, welcome here to Pro Wrestling Alliance. We have a triple threat match for the Southern heavyweight title here. We have Tyler Thorne, Trey Benjamin, and your champion, Reynoso Wokes. And they're in the triple threat match for the R or PWA Southern Heavyweight title. Your champion right now is Reynoso Lokes. Reynoso is the guy with the clown face holding the title at the moment. And over in that far left-hand corner with the black singlet on, that is Tyler Thorne. And and the guy right here to the left uh, is Trey Benjamin. We saw him in action the last time we were here. Like, he wrestled. Uh, Trey was uh, was wrestling last time we were here, and he was he had he was 
working over Addison Kane yeah. when uh, Austin Cruz interfered. So we didn't get to see much of what he could do because of Austin Cruz. That no good loser. <laughs> <laughs> He's obviously a fan favorite. Oh yeah. And there goes. Now goes the champion. Reynoso out to the out to the ring. I like that. Out to the floor. I like the attitude of this Tyler Thorne. He has got the attitude yeah, of a wrestler. He seems like he's upset with somebody. <laughs> he's got a, a bad disposition. Yeah, and that's that's a good thing for a wrestler to have. I wonder if he's any kin to Black. Black. Guy. I know Black Thorne. <laughs> Is that, what, is that one of his illegitimate kids? He's not very old, it appears. Off the ropes. There's a nice hip toss there by Trey Benjamin. Picks him up, slams him down to the mat, goes for the pinfall. You refer in this matchup is Jason Harper. In, in comes Reynoso. Reynoso. Reynoso putting a, I think it's a fist. Could be a forearm. Irish whip, duck under. Big clothesline. He's bound to have been a linebacker somewhere, Tim Miner. That is uh, Trey Benjamin. Reynoso. For the ride. Gets the suplex put on him, and there's a pitfall tip one, two, and a two count. You realize so far, except for the opening announcements, all three men have not been in the ring together. Uh, Trey Benjamin has probably been the most <laughs> aggressive offensively. <laughs> what are you doing? This is a family show. What was he showing us? He was brought it, took his bra down and was doing something. Reynoso is going to get back at him. I apologize for not calling you Reynoso. We had some problems with the names last show, but we got it, we got it right this time. Uh, no, I haven't. I went to the dressing room <laughs> and went straight to the sword this time. Oh, thank you. But I'm still not getting them right. Good to see all these wrestling fans out here. I've been a wrestling fan as far back as I can remember. Watching it on out of Muncie, Indiana. Back in the Stone Ages. When, yeah. Uh, when you only had two and, and a half channels. You sat in your rock chair. With Russ Davis. We never saw Russ Davis. After several years, finally, he walked out. He's a little old bald man. We thought he was surprised. Whoa. And the normal weapon to use was a rock, not, not yeah. a chain. There's a two count. Oh, used a lot of, nearly gets pinned. There. They used a lot of paper cuts that the fans would throw them. They'd fold it up and use the point. Nobody does that anymore. Maybe I can get somebody like Gary Valiant to do that. And so who's the Trump or Rocket champion back here? <laughs> I'm thinking Flintstones. Yes. Standing on the throat. Of Trey Benjamin is Tyler Thorne. Like I said earlier, he's got a bad disposition. He's I a like very angry, angry young man. I think he needs to sit with a psychiatrist or something. I think we he needs to go over here and sit with us. We need to get to the bottom of the issues. You know, we need to find out what, why he's so angry. Well, probably because the referee is not going to call anything in his favor. Or the ride. Because he's getting uh, tilt a uh, tilt world head scissor uh, on him right there in the middle of the ring. There's a one, two, but broken up before by Trey Benjamin. I don't want uh, Tyler Thorne to take this personal, but he is rather athletic, uh, more so than his appearance would be. And here's the thing, it may be two on one against him, because these other two guys wrestle from the other side of the ring. Oh, know. I thought Reynoso was a, a heel. No, no, he come, he's a fan favorite. Well, he's not mine. He's doing Pilates in the corner. Was that a Pilates? <laughs> that was, uh, I got yeah, caught. Yeah, yeah. I got caught. Trey Benjamin breaks up the pinfall. Thorn with a big right fist there to Benjamin. But he, he Jason Harper has got his hands full. He's not touched him. Well, he's got his hands full with all these guys in the Oh, ring. okay. That other and, referee and he, was. And he has, already has issues counting to three. I mean. <laughs> Brandon Odell was the one that's touching Boogie. Okay. They did everything together. Oh, double slap oh. to the chest. He just did that to be mean. Just to inflict some pain. Now rubbing his eyes across that top of that rope over there. I'm liking this Tyler Thorne. Look at that. Oh, now he's going he to can strut. even strut a little bit. Oh, 
driving down over the top rope. He's got a, a... Oh! Chin breaker. Double knees. One, two, three. He got him. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match is Reynoso Lokes as he keeps his title. He retains I thought for that sure. PWA Southern Heavyweight title. Your winner, Reynoso Lokes. I thought for sure that Tyler Thorne was going to win this thing. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the match, and still PWA Southern Heavyweight Champion, Reynoso Lowe. Hello, welcome back once again. This is the boys, Timothy Miner, along with Rusty the Ref. And we are here with another live match here from Gladeview Community Center in Lebanon, Tennessee. And yeah. this matchup, we have Justin Savage with Lucky P, his manager at ringside. And he is taking on Lucky P. Esquire. Luke, 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 he's taking on Luke Cage. And your referee in this matchup is Brandon Everett. There's been too much smooching out here. If we're going to do that, let's bring Boogie back out and let him we'll smooch some people. We'll somebody kiss a camera and then somebody kiss the dog. Oh, wait. That's a girl. <laughs> a girl. <laughs> Woman. Yeah. No, I was, or was it a fat boy? I'm not, I think it was a fat boy. No. No, that was a fat boy. I hey, can't. We're re live. We might get in trouble for this. Uh oh. <laughs> We are just playing if we offended anyone. If we didn't offend you, we didn't do our job. <laughs> That's my motto. Well, I believe I heard he's from Gladesville. Who? L like Mr. Gladesville. Cage. Oh, I'm not sure where he's from. I thought he was from here. He may be. But we do know that Justin Savage is the Kentucky Blue Blood, and he is here. Uh, he, he took it on, last time we were here, he took it on Chase Stevens. He gave Chase Stevens a good match. Oh, yeah. Chase Stevens was lucky Chase that he had, won. had to work, work hard to get that win. I've uh, seen Justin. Oh, Every time we've seen Justin, he's. Yeah, several times show. now. We saw him in. Um, Centerville. Centerville, Tennessee, and he won the Battle Royal. Very athletic man. He can, why is he cheating for? Luke Cage coming out with the right hand. He came out cheating. Your fan favorite, every one of you cheering for him, started out with a cheating move. Oh, and, and you he cheered for him. This I think he said he gave up. What kind of what kind of fans are you? What kind of character do you have? Character. Just, <laughs> yeah, we got a bunch of characters morals, here. Character. Oh, I, I, I talking about we got a bunch of cartoon characters here. Into the turnbuckle oh. with authority, diving. Big. Oh, we to stop being mean to the fans. Well, they, they're cheering for the cheater. They're cheering for Luke Cage. Justin Cage has not cheated yet. Luke Cage has. Justin Savage, rather. Justin Savage. Justin is, Savage has not cheated yet. Justin Cage is. He's somebody. <laughs> anyway. Well, outside if, if the ring, if he Justin went, Savage taking a blue blood timeout here. Out down on the ring with Lucky P. Once again, Mr. Cage reminds me so much of Bud Ellis. You used to wrestle out of Kentucky? Yeah. The, the young Bud Ellis. Uh, yeah, the grandson of Cowboy Bob Ellis. And then his dad was Bud Ellis, and he was a young Bud Ellis. Yeah. Well, hey, and Justin's it looks leaving. as if Justin Savage is going home. Cage is going after him. Oh. Well, folks, we've got it going on over here in the corner. We're, we're throwing fists. Justin got tired of of uh, the cheating ways of, of Mr. Cage. And here he goes into the wall. Oh, man, right into, he did into the wall with his head. <laughs> now he's gonna take him back to the ring. My buddy Austin back here is being the referee now too. Of course, I understand that. I've had to instruct the referees quite a bit in my tenure in wrestling. Camera back on him. Take note if you get a chance. And you see Lucky P stomping away at the ringside over here. If you get a chance, look at that uh, briefcase of Lucky P Esquire. What he's got in the briefcase. It's got a lot of dents in it. <laughs> Justin Savage is putting the boots to. To Cage Boy, and to Cage's parents, uh, to, people over to here. you. This is for you. Oh, right into that. He's got a bunch of them over here too. Right into that steel post. 
breaks the count. I he tell you, out here and continue to work on him. It looks if like. my mama were here and I cheated, she'd go up there and whoop me. If your mama were here and I cheated, she'd go up there and whoop me. Oh, my mama would join in. <laughs> well, that's, she wear a fur coat. Yeah. No, okay. She's welcome then. She'd be my manager. Here we go. What are we going to do? Look, <laughs> look at this move. This is a ten. Oh, uh, elbow to the sternum. I, uh, I'm not going to give that a ten. I thought he was going to scissor that, kick him. Oh, that would have been nice. I'll give it a, I'll give it a, a five. Justin Savage. Now he's giving the other side some. He's pointing out to each side. Hey, this is for you. Well, they should should have cheered for Justin Savage. He's a very worthy opponent. He's one of the best wrestlers. Well, everything that Austin P said about him is true. Outside the ring, on this side, and there you see. Manager Here we go. Team. It's briefcase time. Lucky P using that briefcase. Got a new dent. It's got a picture of a rear end in it now. A dent, you know. An hey, 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 an we need some security. An end dent. We need some security. They need to be doing their job, Tim Binder. She took her shoe off. She's ready to hit. Yeah, Justin might have to hit her to protect himself. Oh, she's, she's got a bad disposition also. Yeah. Are we sure that that's not Tyler Thorne's mother? <laughs> I think I need to go instruct the uh, security now. We talked before the, before the show. Is there anything you need me to do for you guys? No, but we need you to protect the fans from the wrestlers, or the wrestlers from the fans. Oh, now he's doing the four, the, the stomp, the Garvin stomp. He's doing the Garvin stomp. That's a ten. Some sort of Garvin stomp. He's, the, doing the, he's doing the cage stomp. He's stomping cage. He's doing the savage stomp. Yeah. And there we go. Oh, man, that's it. He's got a footprint on his face. Ronnie Garvin would be proud. And there's a two count. Come on. Tim Butter, do Luke we Davis have any referees that can count to three? Oh, yeah. We saw Jason Harper count to eight earlier. <laughs> I think Brian O'Dell counted to eight earlier. But did they count to three? Well, at, they the right, past three. at the right time. Justin Savage standing over a broken down Luke Cage. Well, don't let up. Or a beat down Luke Cage. You don't want to let up on Cage. Down. Cage, a big raw boned young man. Big right fist there by Justin Savage. Savage shoots him in off the ropes. Oh, he catches him with a DDT. Whoa. Out of nowhere, he catches him with a DDT. That may have just saved him the match. You've got two very athletic men here. Justin Savage, the veteran. I believe that and we got Cage. Two count there. That Luke Cage is the. Is he still a rookie, or do do we know? If he is, he's rookie of the year. He has really improved since we've seen him the first time at RWF. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's like a different guy. Putting some authority on those clotheslines. Duck under. Oh, oh, nice move there. That was a 10. Oh, yeah. Sort of that was me. a 2. Sort of reminds me of the Viper. Which Viper? Why are you asking? In the WWE, what's his Oh, name? yeah, the Viper. Uh, yeah, that Viper. <laughs> I can't think of his name now. I can't either. Cage helping Justin in. You forget I don't watch WWE anymore. Oh! Oh, this is a good match. move. That's a One, 10. Two, three, he gets the win. And we've got a 10. 
Justin Savage gets the victory. We'll be back in a few moments for our main event. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back here. This is the final one of tonight. This is the main event here, PWA Pro Wrestling Alliance out of Glenville Community Center in Lebanon, Tennessee. And our main event is the Kingdom, Gregory McDaniel and Ethan Bolden. They're out here with Johnny Showtime and LBK. When we went off the air earlier, LBK turned and became a part of the Kingdom. They're known as the Kingdom, and they're taking on Shannon Hayes and Matt Starr. They're accompanied ringside by Mean Mike and Steve Mann. And Austin Cruz. And Austin Cruz. So do we have a, a one federation versus another here? No, or what? Kingdom, it come, it, is a group here that's trying to take over. They're not another federation, but they've come in here trying to take oh, over. Just, and uh, I was looking forward to Johnny Primetime, uh, I mean Showtime wrestling. Anyway, well, guess what? Showtime is. He's a Showtime. What has he got on? Johnny off? Showtime is wearing his pajamas out here. Everybody, next time we meet, next Friday has night, he, everybody will have those on. Has he been to uh, Hawaii? No, it's just Showtime. Everyone in here will be wearing that next week. You wait and see. Gregory McDaniel will be starting off here for the Kingdom, and his tag team partner in the red is Ethan Bolden. And in the ring to start off for the team on the other side is Shannon Hayes. All right, Ethan Bolden. I have not seen well, this. Well, there's already a tag, and here comes the big boy, I don't believe Ethan I've Bolden. I don't think he I've seen like him. He looks like a boulder. Yeah. He look like a boulder, like he can roll down a hill. Collar and elbow tie out. a few guys along the way. Back Shannon up into the corner. And then he's going to flex so, his so muscles. His muscle. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll, uh, well, I'll just be quiet. I'm not got any there's, muscles there's to flex. Tag. And comes McDaniel. Gregory McDaniel coming back in. Of course, his father used to work for us in uh, AWF in Murfreesboro back and, in 2004. When we were and with us in SWA. And then we worked for him in Mc, uh, McMinnville. McMinnville. We did, uh, his dad is uh, Richard McDaniel his, uh, and his uncle Primetime. Primetime was my commissioner for AWF. And his dad was known as Daddy Mac. Daddy Mac. And his uncle Rock Dog. Dog. Rock Dog messaged me the other week. So I remember Rock Dog like made it to, to WWE. He'd like to come work in RWF at some time. I'll have I'll to be all right. pass that along to uh, Roy Shelton. We do know that, is it Matt Starr that won the RWF heavyweight title? Yes. He's in the ring tonight here with Pro Wrestling Alliance. Uh, he's one of the main people here at Pro Wrestling Alliance. And Austin beat, uh, Austin Cruz beat his, uh, what do you want to talk about? Him? Okay. Anyways, he beat his nemesis. Anyway, Matt Star guide. Well, Gregory McDaniel over there taking a rest on the top rope. You know, if you need somebody in your in your corner, I don't know. I'd much know. rather have big old Austin Cruz I don't than know. that than LBK. No offense. However, Johnny Showtime. How well do you trust? Austin Cruz and Matt Starr. I've got the feeling they're just, I mean, they're just, just like their brothers. Do they move over to the kingdom? I mean, that would take over half the dressing room. Oh, <laughs> All Austin wants to do is hurt somebody. It's in his DNA. They're calling a timeout over here. It might amaze you what he would do with that black stick he carries. I've got to get some information about Mean Mike. Do you know anything about Mean Mike? I do not. He's a Nima here, but he's uh, I All I know right now is Ethan Bolden or, uh, is trying to call a timeout because Gregory McDaniel has hurt his ear. <laughs> now, we do know that uh, one of McDaniels had, had his ear hit off. Yeah. Part of it tore off. That's his daddy. That's isn't his daddy, yeah. yeah. He probably protects him pretty good. You might want to start wearing some earmuffs to the ring. Man, he looks... I know I would if I was one of McDaniels. Just like Rick Steiner. He looks so much like his dad. Now, after... We need to talk to him afterwards because of... Uh, he was there that night when Chris 
the snake oh, boy, yeah, ran yeah. off. Yeah. He's the one who went and got him. In comes Matt Starr. Things are going to pick up now. Matt. Ethan Bolden and Matt Starr right in the middle of the ring. I think Matt Starr can pick him up? He don't have to. <laughs> He'll fly all over him. Yeah, I think Matt can pick him up. He probably doesn't want to, but I think he can. Probably about like in the middle of the ring. You see the strength there of Ethan Bolden as he backs Matt into that far corner. The referee in this matchup is Brian O'Dell. <coughs> Pardon me. Oh, and now Matt Starr lighting up. Bolden over there in that corner with some chops. Comes over with a big, looks like a, a karate chop across the top of the head. Shoots him into this turnbuckle, comes out, big drop kick. And Whoa, the big man comes rolling out of the ring. Right I'll give that whole series a 10. You and know, Matt Starr. This is just like Christmas House with the Starr family. Well, yeah, Christmas happy, night. Well, this is Christmas, Christmas night. Christmas, Star they're family still now. in their pajamas on Christmas morning. Oh, it's that's they're not pajamas. The kingdom over. That's Johnny Showtime. He's just wearing his uh, Hawaiian gear. He may be from Hawaii. You better not say ethnicity things about him. Uh, I didn't say anything racial or anything. Yeah, I can't say that word. Tag and comes McDaniel. Tag and McDaniel back in the ring. Right now, we've got wrestling royalty in that ring. Both of these guys, such a heritage. That star with the upper hand at the moment. You know, I have. McDaniel makes it back to his feet. I would have to give up right now. There's a tag on Shannon Hayes. Shannon Hayes coming in. I've never seen Shannon Hayes in action. This is our first time seeing him. Actually, it's our first time seeing Ethan Bolden also. He's in the main event. We have seen Gregory McDaniel, and we have seen uh, Johnny Showtime in action. And LBK and Matt Starr and the Austin Cruz. Might mean Mike. Uh, who else here? Shannon Hayes showing Gregory to almost every turnbuckle in the ring. And Steve Mann. There's a two count. This is our main event of the evening. Of course, we have given you referees right four, on. Them. This is the fourth match tonight. We've done, we've done, we've done four shows tonight. We've done wow. four live streams tonight. We're making up for all the shows we missed that we didn't get to do our regular show. This is good. I'm glad you promote uh, PWA. Only thing about it, we don't get to sit here and talk to our the fans like we do with our other ones. Well, we'll be back on the air with our regular Tim. Oh! Ah! It might be over. Oh my goodness. Oh! <laughs> well, it's bad enough to get hit in the face with a booty, but then. Comes, uh, rolling in there with his full force. These are two big old boys, too. I think his heart stopped when he, when he chopped them in. That might be the best chop we've seen in a while. Or heard. Heard in a while, definitely. Austin Cruz had some good that ones, one but that Donnie was. Donnie Fargo chops from years Woo. ago. Remember Donnie Fargo oh, taking yeah. on Gypsy Joe? Big old. Gallatin. Yeah. That Donnie Fargo. Yeah, that Donnie Fargo. Not the fabulous one. But yeah. Oh, big knee to the side of the head there. Some of my most enjoyable. Julie's watching that. Good to see Julie on here. She usually joins us when we do our live streams. Hi, Julie. Since you're on here, I was going to make the announcement. We'll be back with our regular live stream here in a couple of weeks. We'll have her on live Not stream. Not just coming, Chundi, but... Uh, here we go again! We probably will here in a few... Uh, oh! Oh, that one thudded. Yeah, that one... He, I well, don't think he can match the other one. <laughs> well, there's still a bloody red spot on his chest. Oh, and now LBK over there stumping away on Shannon Hayes. LBK As, holding him up. Uh, Gregory McDaniel is taunting Matt Starr. He might have just given a heart punch. He was using a defibrillator. <laughs> so next time Johnny we're- Johnny Showtime over here in his colorful attire. 
can you fix it up where we can see Johnny Showtime wrestle? Like next time we're here or anywhere. I want to bring. I would like to see him come to Gallatin also to RWF. Maybe, maybe I'd love to see this whole group here in Gallatin. Oh yeah. There's a pinfall. There's a. T he doesn't finish it. He he says no. Nope, not gonna do it right here. I want to beat him up a little more. What? Or Zach can come back to Harlem later. I did grade this on my wrestling page. It's, I have nothing bad. Oh! Oh man. He squashed him. It's over. So Ethan Boulder. That was like a boulder hitting him. Julie says hi, Rusty. Hey, Julie. Oh my goodness. This group known as the Kingdom is showing full force here tonight. Wow. As they are working over the Shannon Hayes, Matt Starr, his tag team partner, on the ring apron, can't do anything about it because he can't get a tag. He needs a tag bad. Your referee in the match that. once again. Look, look, you, is that's a venture move. He, he's working the camera too. I love it. Did I break something there? Some kayfabe? Do it right, yeah, right to the camera. That's a 10. Gordon Dunaway, you talk about outfits and shirts like this. Gordon Dunaway, remember Gordon used to, just Gordon? Yes. He used to change shirts every, every oh, match. Yeah. <laughs> the pie he's guy. Watching, he's watching tonight. The pie, the pie guy. guy. Good to see you, Jordan. But that shirt that uh, Johnny Showtime's wearing looks like one of the shirts that Gordon Dunaway used to wear. Out to yes. The oh! Shannon Hayes with a cross body block gets two, a two out of it. Kind of surprised Gregory McDaniel there. McDaniel back up the feet and oh, close lines him, lines him back down to the Man, mat. he's a big guy. Oh, and he got drugged right across the ring. <laughs> Matt needs to get in there bad. I'm not sure Shannon can take anymore. I didn't, where's my towel at? I need to throw it in for him. I don't have a white towel. <laughs> Any color will do. I went over there to clean up some of these dirty people. It turned brown. It's got dirty, a dirty look to it. Oh, oh, big elbow. Just, that's what Shannon needed to do. Now he needs to get a tag. Howard Riley, old Cletus Bass watching, says he's stuck in traffic. No right. better way to get be stuck in traffic than watching yeah. some good wrestling. He's probably watching while he's driving. He just, oh, he just said that so his head. wife wouldn't get on to him. Shannon Hayes going to make it over, makes the tag. And here comes Matt Starr. A fresh man. Holder makes the tag. On Gregory McDaniel, so McDaniel and Starr are the two little men in the ring. Big uppercut there by Starr. He hits Boulder with one here also. Goes in. Those European-like uppercuts. And Matt it's Starr house. is taking over here. Oh, runs that foot straight to the side of the nice face again. Gregory brush. McDaniel. That's a 10. And now he goes over here to put his attention on Boulder. Boots to the midsection, the boulder. And he's stumbling a mud hole in him. And well, walking walk it dry. dry. <laughs> Fire him up! Fire him up! I tell you what, Shannon Hayes got fired up earlier. I know. And he just stumbled a mud hole in uh, Gregory McDaniel over there also. Pardon me. Well, Shannon took one for the team, that's for sure, a beat. Shannon, up to his feet. Not surprised he could walk. Shoot. Shoot him in. <laughs> he took a powder. <clears throat> McDaniel, see what McDaniels is gonna do. He's going those holds on over here. Oh! But he's not going over. Watch it, woman. Watch that woman. She'll hit him with a shoe. Double axe handle off the ring up in there. <laughs> Matt hurt himself on that Matt hard Star. head. The legal men right now are Matt Starr and uh, Gregory McDaniel. They're both outside the ring. But inside the ring, 
These guys going at it. Shannon Hager has come back alive. Trading punches, trading slaps. Irish whip. Oh! This ought to be over. Once, once again, not the legal man got pinned. The illegal man pinned him. Two men were in the ring. We need to give this referee some lessons. The kingdom gets the victory.